Ringo. Come together. What do you remember about this? At the time, I was just working with this bloke, John. Now I look back and I was working with John Lennon. All my love, I will send to you. We were writing songs that were memorable because had we to had to remember them. them. How did this happen? It was a question of me, John, or George becoming the bass player. And the two of them said, well, I'm not doing it. When could you look back and realize what we did back then was really special? I clearly remember when Ringo kicked in. It was like, wow, he's really good. I can tell you, but no, it's mine. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friend. A good little song. I brought in the chords, and then George Martin said, it'd be nice if we could have a little intro. And Harrison just went, do, 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 do. Yeah, he was good, you know. What you got now? Got this one. The sea in the sky with diamonds. Ah, ah. <laughs> this is why we don't go into tapes. Ah. It's beautiful. Number one in the USA. That was a party night. So tell me what happens the day of this mm -hmm. recording. We were warned, don't go out late and the car pulls up. Some guys jumped out, one of them had a knife, and they took all our demos. We were hippies, we just did not listen. Band on the run. Band on the run. I want to read to you one little thing. Paul is one of the most innovative bass players that ever played bass, and half of the stuff that's going on now is directly ripped off from his Beatle period. He's a great, great musician. Did I write that? That is John Lennon. That's John. Yeah. I hadn't heard that. That's beautiful.